Okay, we're checking in with University of Akron head coach Kayla Porter once again. Uh, coach, looking back at last weekend and the Northridge game in particular, uh, how important was it for this team to grind out a win like they did against Northridge? It's very important, especially with a group that uh, is still finding themselves. It's a young group and they're figuring things out and we needed some tough games, I think, to uh, find out what we're made of. And I like, I like how we responded. Both games were difficult. Both games were physical games. In both games, we had uh, a bit of adversity. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, from Thursday to Saturday, I saw a jump in our overall mentality. We started the game against Northridge uh, on that second game uh, with the right approach. And we were very sharp and did some of our best stuff of the year in that first half. Really got a grip on the game, um, scored a great goal. Uh, but then we kind of coasted a little bit uh, after we got the goal. So being able to now sustain that level, uh, both sides of the ball, is I think the next step for this team. But uh, we, we, we made some good jumps in training this week. You know, the uh, evolution of a team and in, in, in just building this thing and putting it together, it takes time. Some weeks you make steps forward, some weeks, weeks you make steps back. Um, this week we took a lot of steps forward. And I'm really looking forward to seeing this group on Saturday because I think you're going to see a better team on Saturday than you did even last Saturday. Now, Scott Caldwell uh, got the golden goal in the second overtime period against Northridge. If you go back to the end of last year, Scott's got uh, seven goals in the last 11 games. So can you just talk about his progression uh, as a playmaker? He's a tremendous player. Um, you know, even just the quality uh, on that goal that he scored uh, with the cross and it kind of was a ping pong ball in the box. and. You know, he caught it with his left foot and then, you know, had the composure to, to drill it home over a guy who was on the line. It just shows the type of player that he is, and he just continues to blossom and get better and better. And we're going to need him to because he's a key guy. You know, he's our, our playmaker, and a lot of our attack goes through him. Mm -hmm. He's an extremely technical and smart player, and he had a great game. And he'll, he'll continue to have good games. You're not going to see a lot of highs and lows with this kid. He's a, he's a consistent player. Now uh, the team goes to St. Louis on Saturday. Uh, you know, prestigious program. The, the Billikens. They've uh, they lost their first two games, Northern Illinois and Indiana, but then they bounced back uh, with a win against Notre Dame uh, last weekend. What kind of uh, game can we expect from them? Well, we expect a tough game. Yeah. Uh, there are no easy games on our schedule this year, and St. Louis is, is no different. Mike McGinty is a guy I know, respect a lot. Won a national championship as an assistant coach at Virginia. Um, you know, he's a competitor. So he'll have his, his guys ready. They're coming off a good win against Notre Dame, so they, they've got a little confidence. And, uh, you know, going in to play St. Louis, a storied program on their home field, it, it's going to be a tough game. And, and yet I think our guys are up for it. You know, we got a great win against Northridge with a big crowd where we had to dig deep to find the win. And I, and I think that experience will help us um, in this game. But we got to perform well. And we have to play like we did in that first half against Northridge. Um, and if we do that, I think it's difficult for teams to, to stop us. I really do. So a lot of our pre preparation is about what we're going to do and executing uh, our plan and respecting the opponent, being aware of what they're going to do tactically in terms of their shape and tendencies and set pieces. Um, but, uh, you know, really we want to play well. We want to play our style and, and uh, do what we do well. And I think if we do that, uh, we should get the result. Um, but we have a lot of respect for St. Louis, and so we know it's going to be a battle. Okay, thanks for your time and good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Paul.